Welcome back, YouTubers and members of Gamers Club. Here we have a special guest, is uh, one of our members, Luis. Here he's gonna do an unboxing of Ixalan, the newest uh, set in the, well, what do they call it, Amonkhet block? Well, actually, this is a brand new Ixalan block. Okay, so yeah, brand new Ixalan block. I was under the impression at first that it would have been yeah. part of the Amonkhet, like the whole oh, block. Yeah. The whole block is based on two sets, a primary set and an, an accompanying set. So Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation are a block because you have the main Amonkhet set and you have the Hour of Devastation accompanying assisting set where it comes with additional support cards for the, for the block. Okay. So right now we're starting a whole new block, which means a lot of stuff got rotated out, which means a lot of stuff in here just got really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing for you guys of this new bundle that we have right here. For those of you who don't already know, it includes a player's guide with an encyclopedia, Ixalan card box, a 10 Ixalan booster packs, ooh, that's nice, 80 basic land card packs. I mean, there you can never have too many lands. And you get a spin down life counter and a quick reference card. I wonder if it comes with a set list, but we'll find out. I so, guess we'll find out. Yeah. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at this. Wow, that actually looks really freaking nice, dude. I know where I'm putting all my lands at. Look at that. It's really cool artwork. Look at that. Another box. Oh, find your crew. Arg. Yo, Rick's excited. Oh, it actually comes with everything in the set. Like, oh man. And it tells you the story. Like, you get the whole lore. So you get the river herds with all the merfolks. You get the Legion of Dusk. Which are your with your vampires? You get your pirates, the Brazen Coalition. <laughs> if you remember from the Amonkhet series, this guy lost to Nick Bolas really hard, got his memory erased. So he he literally thinks he's part of this realm, like he's mind wiped. Oh, okay. And yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Vraska. Oh, she's cool. Like she hadn't had a card for her in ages. Look at that. All these cards that are out today. You can see like dinosaurs and all this other stuff. What does Andanto do? Oh, that's more vampire stuff. That's all right. You got cancel in the set. But anyway, nice. If you pick up the bundle, just want to see what the whole what's in the whole set. I mean, there's websites for that as well. But just having the official card catalog for the whole set is really nice and a good little thing to keep in mind. So, without wasting any more time, now for the moment I've been waiting for. First pack. I'm not really neat when it comes to pack opening. I tend to be one of those guys who take, who think like the booster pack there is chew toys and just like <laughs> rip, tear, snip, snip. Buccaneers, Legion's Judgment, Scorpion, Pirates Prize. Ah, oh, here you. Oh, that's the basic one. Oh, there's the that. Let's see. Ooh, this is the Lord for Merfolks. That's uncommon. Oh, what? Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn and untap them? So I can swing. Oh my god, that's dumb. Excellent. Binding, that's a good stall card. And Drown Catagome. I got the check land, the blue, the blue black check land. This nice. is awesome for pirates. So that's not bad, man. That's not bad. Me likey. On the first pack. Yeah. Believe it or not, you haven't seen Drown Catacombs check land since like way earlier sets so the fact that they're back in standard it's kind of busted that and you got fast lands for all of you guys who know what the fast lands are now let's see what's in pack number two i don't know mark of the vampire sure strike you get first strike and three plus three plus zero wow Ooh. look at the top five cards of your library reveal a dinosaur or land among them and put them into your hand put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order for one green i know what i'm running more Raptor Companion, Spell Pierce, another counter. Sleeker. Ooh. This is the Revel in Riches. Alright, so let's see. Oh, this is the Lack Legendary. Oh, oh dear lord. This is the fun one. Whenever a creature or your opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure token. At the beginning of your upkeep, 
when you control ten or more treasures, you win the game. Oh, Auto win card for Black. It's actually that's kind of cool. But I got a ramp card, so that's really important. <laughs> you like me ramp? So far, so far so good. I low key wish it was like the blue enchantment land. That would have been great. Let's see if I can try to open it. This. Oh wow! I did it the neat way. Awesome. Here we go. One drop elemental, right? Okay, so we got a vampire soldier, elemental, human knight. Petron knight has flying as long as you control a dinosaur. Eh, that's not bad. Flight keeper, bat imp. Jade guardian, hexproof, and more, another lord. Shaper apprentice. So it has flying as long as you control another merfolk, unfriendly fire. <laughs> wow. Dive down and gets hexproof. Crazy whiptail reach. Eh, I'm a little sad about that. That's not something I would want. Destroy target enchantment. Ooh. Trove of temptation. Okay. Dead eye plunders. You get the uncommon one. Create colors. Oh, nice. Bonded harvest. Can't block alone. Growth of the old triads. When Oath, Oath Grow dies enters the battlefield, each opponent may search his or her library for a basic Lantard, put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle his or her library. That's not bad. No, not really. It's actually pretty good. Human Pirate. 1-7 huh. Dinosaur. Not what I really want, though. Uh, another Human Pirate. Untapped Target Land. Huh. We, I keep getting that. Ooh, okay. That's a discard card. That's nice. Ritual Rejuvenation. Heartless Pillage. Your target opponent discards two cards. Wow. If you attack with a creature this turn, get a. T yeah, say so there's a treasure deck for this. Oh, I keep getting those. Death of the Ancient. Primal Amulet. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Primal Amulet. There are four or more counters on it. You may remove the counters and transform it. Oh, that's a oh. land. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. When that mana is spent to cast an instant sorcery, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the for the copy. So that's a double-sided card. Yep, this is one of the double-sided ones and it's the four drop. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like yeah, it. Not but too bad. I, not as good as the old growth dyads, but I like it. <laughs> if I get another old growth dyads, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel good about this. Like, not bad. Like, the pulls are okay. I can't complain. But I swear, if I see another one of those flying equipments, I swear. Uh, dire Fleet Hoarder. Let me see. Human Knight. Attacks. You control the dinosaur. Gets plus one, plus one till the end of the turn. And that other one, one seven. Life Link. <laughs> oh, that's an instant. Wow, that's a desire. Uh, cancel. Wow. Okay. That's a counter spell. Trample, not the very good one. Hijack, gain control card, artifact, creature, and tap it again, taste until the end of the turn. Ugh. Wandering Scoundrels, that's fine. Field of Ruin. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just about feeling you may have it fight another creature. Ashes of the Aberrant. Players cannot cast spells from the graveyards or activate abilities of cards in the graveyard. Again, it's another great stall card. Whenever your opponent creatures die, you gain one life. Yeah. Eh, not bad. Bad. I like that white spell. See what I mean, though? Yeah. There's a lot of good, like, white hate-bearing cards, like, in this set. Like, Exelon Binding says no. <laughs> like, you can stall for days. Like, if you're running um, Approach of the Second Sun, it got some decent support off of that. Like, in its place. Like, that's not... Oh, I opened this incorrectly. Oh, my God, I'm sad. Oh, wait. Okay, we saved it. We saved it, guys. There we go. Uh, Skyblade, that's the common. Hopper, dual shot. Talons, ooh. See what I mean? Slashing talons deals target to the attacking creature or blocking creature. Yeah, I see. Ravenous Dagger Tooth. Whenever Ravenous Dagger Tooth is dealt damage, you gain two life. Dinosaurs, like I'm telling you, man. Dreadmaw. I keep pulling this thing and I really don't like it. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Chroma Speaker. And... Bonded Horse Nest. 
Oh, what is this? The seven drop pirate? Mm, oh, if a source would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double damage. Wow. Okay. That's a thing. Uh, I'm going to put that away. <laughs> Never look at it again. Rack those pirates, I think. Use one of those cards. One or two. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into the build for that yet. I don't know. I'm probably talking out of my butt at this point. All right. What's the build you're going for again? I'm going for Naya Dinosaurs. Realistically, I just like pulling packs. <laughs> <laughs> Looming Altar. I keep pulling this thing. Siren Lookout, Explorers. This is a nice one. Uh, Crash the Ramparts. Oh, that is fun for a three drop. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, plus trample. That's basically overrun for all you people who played old school magic. Or just look it up, overrun. It's a really great <laughs> card. There's actually, I kid you not, that's fun. Ah, Exile Target. Creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield. Oh, this is flicker. This is a flicker effect. Oh, put a jungle counter on jungle delver. Okay. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, man. Look, unclaimed territory enters as the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Add one mana to your mana pool. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a creature of the chosen type. Sweet. And I need four of these. This is a really fucking great card. This is like a must-have. I'm glad I pulled this. That's yes. one of the ones you were talking about earlier. Yeah, this for like the tribal support. Freaking amazing. Ooh. Double strike. Uh, other creatures you control gain double strike, so this is a... Eh, it's, it's a shame that that cost is so high, though. I wouldn't run it. I'd want to, but I can't. Did I really just get this as a hollow? That's nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Could have been a better card, but... I mean, I pulled this plus the Dryad. I'm not complaining. <laughs> like, it's already a plus, and that's not uncommon, so, like, I'm hoping to pull more of it. Like, the set's pretty big, so I don't know. Maybe I might pull one more. If I pull one more, I'll be happy. I don't know about you guys, but I would be. Yeah, Mark, Friends, Raptor. That card again. This is what I would run the white portion for, like, all the... Yeah. For all the support that they got there. And that's another counter. Pounce. <laughs> this is fun to do. Okay. Target creature you control fights another target creature you control. Each each deals damage equal to its power to each other. Basically, this is how you like... Like, you know how in Yu-Gi-Oh! you can fight other creatures and not and avoid getting attacked directly? Right. Well, here, you want to get rid of an annoying blocker? Have it fight it before the combat. Damage heals before the next phase. After the next phase. So, you fight, then you go to the next phase... Then you just say, uh, you're di that blocker's no longer there. Hit, swing for the full damage. It's a right. really nice card. And this is a common, so that's like, whew. Okay, fun. Orc Pirate. Dinosaur Spells. This is the one I was looking for. Right here. Dinosaur Sweet. Spells could cast, cost one less to cast. This is what I wanted. And it's a common. That's so good. So I'm like, man. You're going to put it to the side? I want to. Oh, 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 there's a good card behind there. Reach, uh, fight another target creature, so another fighter. Whoo! Rack those pirates. This is what they run. They need more of these. Burning Sun Avatar. Okay, when this ETBs, uh, deal three damage to target opponent and three damage to up to one target creature. I wouldn't run this, but it just looks cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow. Yo, I actually pulled this telling you like eduardo would love this card like for his pirates two more packs all right right keeper and i'm actually reading these commons now because i might actually run into some good stuff here's another see here's the other ramp card that i wanted mm -hmm. yeah merfolk wizard merfolk scout not really what i'm looking for another orc pirate there you go See, I'm telling you, the fact that it's common makes my life a lot more fun. Oh, this is a Goblin Pirate. <laughs> Whenever you cast a Lightning Spirit, untap Lightning Crew. So literally, you can keep summoning pirates and just dealing one damage. Mm -hmm. So this is hysterical. Uh, Wild Growth Walker. It's an elemental. Whenever you explore plus and you gain three life. That's not bad for a two drop. Dark Nourishment. 
We gained three lives. That's expensive, though. Woo! Yes! This card is the enchantment land I'm talking about. Look, when this thing ETBs at the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. Reveal a creature from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. At the beginning of your end step, if you control four more creatures, transform growing rights into the new Gaia's Cradle. I am fucking happy. This is, it's better than Gaia's Cradle. Look, first effect, add one green mana to your mana pool. So if you have no creatures, you get a free green mana. You, oh, and the second one, you can tap this, you can tap for a green mana, so you can add a green mana to your mana pool for every creature you control. You get six dinosaurs, you get six green mana. You get eight big giant big dudes, you get eight wonderful mana to silence more big dudes. This is what I've been wanting. Like, yes, I'm a happy, happy Magic the, Magic the Gathering player. Yes! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I called it too. I wanted this card. Yeah. I'm 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 not upset. I'm This is a great unboxing. Dude, you should check the price on this thing. It's stupid. And I need three more. I need one more or two more of these. Like it's dumb. <laughs> Final pack. I'm hoping for Carnage Tyrant or at least the gruel one that gives me the haste. If I pull either one of those right now, this would be the perfect bundle set. Like, I could not be mad. <laughs> like, I could not be mad. Desperate castaways, unless you have an artifact. Oh, this is what you do when you're running treasures with your pirates. Shorekeeper. Another more folk, another prying braid. Okay, I pulled enough of these, but let's get the pulled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stormfleet. Ruthless Carve. Oh. Is that the one you said you needed three of for the very beginning? Which one? That one. Yeah, I already have my three. I'm happy. There you go. Three of them. Pillar of Origins. Okay. Two drop artifact. This is fun. Uh, Pillar of Origins enters the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast creature spell of the chosen type. Wait, of any color? Of any color. Holy crap. Calling a creature type. So I call dinosaurs. I can spend for red, green, or white mana. More acceleration. Jesus. Damn, well, the uncommons in this thing are just so good. So, draw two cards and discard. Oh, you discard unless you attack the creature with a creature this turn. So, like, if you're running uh, Grixis Pirates, you swing, mm -hmm. and or and then you play this on uh, the main phase two. You draw two cards free because you attacked already, so you don't have to worry about discarding. So, this is really good on the second main phase post combat. Oh, oh, Arcane Adaption. Arcane Adaptation enters the field. Use a creature type. Creatures you control the chosen type are in addition to creatures you control are the chosen type in addition to their other types. So the same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. So you can call dinosaurs all the creatures in your hand are dinosaurs. So you remember that uh remember this, right? If I remember I pulled a couple of these. Right? Yeah. Cost one less, right? So remember that uh you remember if you notice that some of these creatures cost like really high amounts of mana, right? Right. Reducing costs. Uh, everything is a dinosaur, therefore all the dinos all the dinosaurs are reduced. So like you turn all the humans that you need that get benefits from dinosaurs into into dinosaurs, so they cost one less to play. So magically, you can start playing like a shit ton of creatures. And if you have the thing that gives dinosaurs haste plus this card, I mean you're not really gonna play it in that kind of a deck. Right. You just call pirates. With this, you just call pirates. <laughs> it's all you do. But it's a really nice enchantment. And then I pulled this thing. Oh. Oh, wow. Nice. This is a main phase two. See, that's freaking great. <laughs> what card is that? This one? This is a nice little uncommon. It's a flying pirate one, two. Raid when Stormfleet Admiral enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter. If it on it with you attacked with a creature this turn so like and flyers you already know are pain in the butt to get through yeah so literally if you swung with a pirate and you do your casting effects and if you remember correctly i pulled a red black pirate that says when you attack when you attack with this creature every uh let me see i have to look at it again like oh here it is whenever dire fleet attacks it gets one plus one plus one in the end of the turn for each other attacking pirate so think about this way. We have a bunch of flying or unblockable pirates, and you swing with this. This gets a plus one, plus one for every other attacking pirate. 
Say you're attacking with a few of these and a couple of other pirates. Let's say six pirates. This becomes an 8-8. Eight, eight. When it swings with, other, with all those other pirates. And Holy you take the other crap. damage. So pirate is the new aggro deck. Like you can run a control deck with Grixis. Or you could run an aggro deck using just the red black ones. The fun rare stuff I pulled. So this, there was that card, right? This is okay. Oh, this is Pillar of Origins. That's a fun card. Uh, let me see. I did pull this. That was great. That was that just looks cool. I don't know. I mean, I pulled this rare. And we're going to ignore the commons for right now. I wish I pulled some of the better dinosaur cards. I would run this, though. 3-3 <laughs> three, three plus trample? Like, just poop on somebody. <laughs> just poop on somebody, right? And, like, you play that, that white human cleric on turn one, this costs one. It's a 3-1 for one at that point. But, like, that's just, again, there's better cards in the set. I wish I pulled them, but I didn't. So then there you have it. Yeah. This has been Gamers Club. I'm Mick. Shadow, our cameraman. And Luis, our featured unboxer today. Did you have fun? I did. I always have fun when I open packs. Like it's like it's like gambling. <laughs> it is. It's like gambling. Alright, thank you for watching. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe for any more featured content. Gamers Club out.